great saddle horse if anyone can break him. Just wait till I get a saddle on him and I'll show you. That is, unless you'd like to try. Nope. I got better things to do. Who's that? I don't know. Audra, Jared, this is Sarah Longstreet. How do you do? Hello, Hello. Sarah. She's here to see Heath. Hello, Heath. What are you doing here? I had to see you. Oh, uh, there. I'll take that horse. Uh, it's my pleasure. I don't know if everyone would uh, stop talking so I could get a word of edgewise. I just might be introduced here. This is my son, Nick. How do you do? Angry young man. I don't know where you came from or why. But just. just leave me alone. Would somebody mind telling me what the devil is going on around here? Long Street. Long hmm? Street. I should have remembered that name. What do you mean? Let's go into the house. Leave them alone. years. What possibly could you have to say? Except maybe the goodbye I never heard? I couldn't think of any way to say goodbye. So I just ran. I looked for you. A long time. I was scared, Heath. Of what? Of you. I don't recall ever giving you reason to be. You were so full of anger. You were so unsure of where you were going, who you were, what you wanted. I needed someone certain, strong. Did 
So you ran. I was afraid we'd destroy each other. Where'd you go? Mexico. I didn't think you'd look there. And then I met someone. He was very kind and very certain of himself. A professor at the university. He helped me pull myself together. After a while, I, I learned to depend on him. And three years ago, we were married. Married? I didn't tell your mother, but yes, I am. His name is Mendez, Dr. Mendez. You've probably heard of him. Rebellions? Yes. He's your husband? Yes. The rebellion is failing, Heath. There's a price on my old head. I've got to get him out of Mexico. That's why I'm here. You're saying you want me to help? Yes. The federal troops are searching everywhere for him. They're watching me, any of his friends who try to help. I need someone from the outside. Someone they'd never suspect. You figure I'm the one? You and the Barclay name. What do you mean? The Barclay Mines, Heath. You, your family. You can travel in and out of Mexico without suspicion. You want me to smuggle him out? I know what I'm asking, Heath. After five years, when it's nearly forgotten, you come back here and expect Heath, me to... Keith! Ryle had nothing to do with you and me. I ask you because... Because what we had once has to mean something. Yeah. It means I was pretty stupid. Hey, please! It's not that way! Sarah wants is enough! No! Ah! Sarah? Sarah, are you all right? I hurt. I hurt. I'm fine, Mrs. Barclay. I really am. And I'd like to get back to the hotel. I know, but it's late. You can go back with Jared in the morning. I can't stay here any longer. And I'm sure he doesn't want me around either. Sarah, you can't go through the rest of your life with things unsettled between you and Heath. I'll finish it tonight. You'll feel better for it. Oh, um... Dinner is in an hour, but you rest until then. Is she all right? She's resting. She, uh, tell you why she's here? Yes. All this time, then she's got to show up again. She's frightened. She needs help. She came to the wrong place. Maybe you're judging her too harshly. She told me why it ended between you two. Well, it ended because she ran out. Maybe I can understand why. You know, I remember how it was when you first came here claiming to be a rightful member of our family. We had everything and you had nothing. You wanted your share and you were ready to fight for it and fight you did. Sarah says you were an angry young man. She's right. You even scared me a little. It was a long time ago. I feel different now. About you. About her. You sure about that? I'm sure. I've invited her to stay the night. All right. It really doesn't matter. If you want her to stay, fine. But in my opinion, you'd have done her a much bigger favor if you'd just let her go. More coffee? No, thanks, Aunt. Sarah? No, thank you. The dinner was lovely, Mrs. Barkley. Thank you. You know, Mrs. Mendez, I've met your husband. You did? Yes, it was not long after I was admitted to the bar. I was traveling down to Mexico. I happened to go to one of his lectures. I found him to be a very dedicated man. 
Yes, he's quite dedicated. If you'll excuse me. I'm very tired and I will be leaving early tomorrow. You'll need some extra blankets. Thank you. Good night. Thanks. You know, I kind of feel sorry for her. We're all sorry. But not enough to hang ourselves with the Mexican government. Seems to me she's got an awful lot of nerve. I think she figures her husband's a pretty special fella. Could be she's right. Excuse me. Perhaps we had better not discuss this in front of Heath. Nothing more to discuss. It's all settled. Is it? As far as I'm concerned, we'd be fools to do what she wants. That decision is up to Heath, isn't it? Not as long as it involves all of us. Heath, whatever you do is all right with me. I'm not going to do anything. If that makes you feel right. Are you saying I should help her? I'm saying if you want to and don't, you may regret it. Think about it. Mrs. Mendez going to join us? No, she's not hungry. She'll be in her room when you're ready to take her to town. Very unhappy girl. Well, now, that's not our fault, is it? No one said it was, Nick. I'm going to Mexico. I don't think I heard you right. What did you say? You heard it right. I gave it some thought last night. Well, you best do some more thinking. We've been meaning to bring back a load of ore samples from that new vein. I can hide her husband in the wagon. Well, now, suppose someone decides to uh, look in that wagon. No one's ever stopped us before. There wasn't a rebellion down there before, either. Jared, tell him what the Mexican government can do to our franchise if he ever gets caught. I think he already knows, Nick. Well, he better also know that we can't afford it. Well, I figure it's worth the risk. Mrs. Mendez means nothing to me, and I don't figure. Oh, stop it. Stop it, both of you. I'll put it to a vote. Nick, old boy, I think that puts your position in a little trouble. Well, now, you're not crazy enough to go along with him, are you? Now, wait a minute. Let's think about it. Suppose he does take Mrs. Mendez back with him. Suppose he sends her across the border first. As sort of a decoy to lead the Federalists away. Now, it seems to me that that way they'd be less likely to watch him. And I think he'd have a pretty good chance. All right, what about you, Audrey? You got a vote? Now, are you willing to give up a mine for a stranger? She's not a stranger to Heath. Well, maybe you're right. And it looks like I've been outvoted. All right. I've done a few crazy things in my life. I'll probably do a lot more. But there's one thing I want you to remember. If you get caught, there's a lot more to lose than just a mine, you know. Like some water? No, thanks. How much farther? We should reach the border by tomorrow. Yes, I'm a little anxious. See, why don't you tell me what you've been doing? You seem very, very much a part of the Barclays. I guess I am. That's what you always wanted, isn't it? You seem to be where you belong. And that's good. I know how hard this is for you, Heath. I wish I could tell you how grateful I am. There's no need.
Hungry? Smells good. Sit down. I was wondering if you remembered. Remembered what? This place. We stopped near here once before. The time you went to the Carney Rodeo to earn a quick fortune for us. Lost twenty dollars and broke a leg. You hobbled around muttering to yourself for weeks. You were like a caged animal. Yeah, I guess I wasn't that. <laughs> Best forgotten. be going across. In the morning. When you get to the San Miguel Road, put this where this can be seen. My husband's men will come take you to him. I'll travel south to Rio Seco. I hope the Federales will think he's hiding the mountains. And then I'll start back. I'll see you in San Diego. <laughs> Giles. What is your business, Miss Giles? I go to visit friends. And where are these friends? El Dago, Rio Seco. I see. Well, have a pleasant trip. Gracias. Ah. Vaya con Dios. It's her. His wife. I know that. Well, she must know that we are watching her. Mary Giles thinks we did not recognize her. Captain Chavez is in Rio Blanco. I know that, too. Send Primo to get him. You follow her. Chavez, Rio Blanco. Barclay's coming. He's going to help. Oh, good. Good news deserves good tequila. Hi, it's Raul. He's anxious to see you. Juan and Jesus bring him food and news, all of which is bad. But he's safe. The Federalis are looking, but he's safe. They started following me at the border. I'll lead them south, and it'll make it easy for Raul. Good. Tonight you will sleep. Tomorrow, you lead them to a big hole and push them in. See. <laughs>
Staying the night? Yes, Captain. Camp in the woods out of sight. One guard on duty at all times. Senora Mendez, with a pleasant surprise. Captain Chavez, what brings you to El Dalgo? Duty, such as it is. Well, with your husband and his friends, quiet life is not nearly so exciting. Uh, may I? Uh, just for a moment. Very well. Gracias. Since when do you sit with Federale, Senora? I asked Senor Chavez to join me. Oh? You have a stronger stomach than I have. I am sorry, Senor. I have caused your friend to become angry with you. I will explain that we're old acquaintances. When was it we met? It was at the capital, two years ago. El Presidente's birthday dinner. Ah, yeah. Boy, I remember. Your husband, he spoke very eloquently against the many injustices of the regime. Yes, I, I was impressed. El Presidente was not. Unfortunately. How sad it is that fate has pitted me against a, a man I so much admire. I could almost believe you mean that, Captain. I do, Senora. We are victims of the times we live in. I hope with all my heart that your husband has made good his escape. It's too late for that, Captain. I'm afraid he's dead. Dead? Yes. But when? How? The details are uncertain. But I hope to find him and give him a decent burial. I am very sorry, Senora. If I can be of help in any way. You're very kind, Captain. Surprise. Have you been? Things are quieting down. Gonna see if you still have a mind, eh? Well, I thought I'd give it a little attention. Be careful. There are still a few of the crazy ones around. Oh? How about the big one? What's his name? Uh... Mendes? He'll be home within the week. And his friends. Well, I'm glad to see you're still on the job. Buena suerte. Dios, senora. When you see your husband, tell him he's in all our prayers. I'll tell him that. Goodbye. Adios. Adios, senor. You will be staying, senor? <laughs> I have nowhere to go. If her husband were dead, she would hate me. She plays a game. A game, Captain? Hmm. Mendez is alive. And I will find him. Sooner or later, I will find it.
Barclay? This way. Happy to meet you, Senor Barkley. It won't take me more than 24 hours to reach the mine and load the wagon. I'll meet you here day after tomorrow. I'll be ready. Where is uh, Sara? She's heading south as a decoy. We'll join her in San Diego. Uh, Senor Barkley, thank you for coming. Nothing is certain. No one can be trusted. The workers here, who knows where their loyalty lies. Senor Heath, I would also feel much better if you would take the gold we have here out of the country. Afraid of being around? Until things settle down, anything is possible. The rebels who have not been captured or killed are looting and robbing. You could hide the gold under the ore. Who would want to steal $50 of unmilled rocks? I figure the situation's that serious, huh? I do, Senor Heath. All right. I'll take it out. Things are quieter next time I'm here, huh? When the hangman days, things will be quieter. Adios. Adios. Difficulties, my friend? None so far. I am in your hands, senor. You don't like me, do you, senor? I don't have an opinion, one way or the other. No. Oh. So 
Tyler told me you were sometimes non-committal. Didn't figure I was a topic of conversation between you two. She's told me a lot about you. I guess you have an advantage. I can only go by what people are saying about you. And what they must be saying, huh? Mendes, the rebel. A savior. The devil. Mendes, the fool. Man pursues a dream, and soon he is a myth. He is everything, nothing. It all depends on the eyes of the people who judge him. I'm not judging you, Mendez. Only delivering you to your wife. It all began with such fervor. Such sweet passion. Pursuit of an ideal. Now I'm running through these hills like a hungry, frightened animal away from the country. I... I only wanted the love. Unfortunately, senor, fervor is not enough. We needed money. Looks like we got visitors. Better get hit. We I see it, compadres. We dug the gold from our hills. So we just really more hours than the gringos anyway. Brendan! on any more of us dying, senor. You know what we want. I don't know what you're talking about, Garcia. Garcia? Hold your fire, senor. I think it's a friend of mine. Garcia? Garcia? It is Mendes. Paren de tirar! Paren de tirar! Doctor Mendes. Es usted, Doctor Mendes. Doctor Méndez. Santa Maria. I thought you were dead by now. Oh, hermano. Casilla. Why do you take to the road like a common criminal, huh? And not a very bright one at that. We are carrying nothing but unmilled ore. Doctor, beneath the ore is $25,000 in gold. Gold! Whatever gives you such a preposterous idea? I saw him put it there when we loaded the ore. Come, I will show you. I will show you. You're a very observant fellow, Garcia. Senor Barclay is doing me a very great service by taking me to safety. We cannot reward his kindness by stealing his gold, now can we? It seems to me, Dr. Mendez, this gold could buy you, us, a new beginning. No. It is over, Garcia. Finished. Go back to work and forget about it. When we first met, Doctor, you were not so quick to give up. Things have changed, Garcia. Excuse us, senor. Senor. Where are they going? Back to the mine.
I told them you would forget this incident. That was generous of you. Well, I've learned of late that forgiveness is a very large virtue. I remember that. detain you, but we are stopping all the traffic along the road today. Oh, what's the trouble? We're looking for Dr. Mendez. I think we will have to search your wagon. This uh, Mendez, he the one been causing all the trouble down here? He is the one. Well, it isn't likely we Barclays would be uh, giving him any help, is it? Barclay. The Barclay Mines. Yeah, just taking a wagon load of ore to the mill. Hijo... Oh, senor, I did not realize. Well, no harm done. Please, continue. And have a good journey. Gracias. Senor Barkley, I think it would be wise if we rode with you through this area. It would not be good if you ran into any of Mendez's men. Well, thank you, but I don't think anybody would be interested in a wagon load of unmilled ore. The rebels are a very unhappy lot these days, senor. They might shoot first. Then look in your wagon. Well, I'm sure I'll be all right. I insist, senor. It would not be well if a Barclay was hurt, especially in my sector. Suit yourself. Andale. Sarah did not exaggerate. The mere mention of the Barclay name and the walls trembled. That kept him from looking in the wagon. Yeah, for which I am grateful. You know, it's amazing. Two years ago, I was a quiet professor steeped in books and ideals. Now I run like a hunted animal. With a little luck, you won't have to run much longer. What is even more amazing is Sarah. She's an American, a foreigner in this violent land. Yet she endures all. She believes in me, so she follows me. My life is her life, my risk her risk. She's an unusual woman. Yes, most unusual. That is why I accepted this, this escape plan of hers. I knew if she once loved a man like you, you're a man I could trust. She would never be in love with a coward or a fool. This talk annoys you, senor? Uh, I'm sorry, but I think intelligent men should... should speak their mind. A noble cause can have an ignoble beginning. So it is with friendship. Believe me, someday you'll be glad that you helped me. Oh, oh. We must. 
must turn back here, Senor Barkley. Glad you came along. Adiosito. Oh! Something wrong? I'm afraid so, senor. Your canvas is loose. You're about to lose your cargo. So? What is this? Who is he? Oh, Pedro. Well, you give him a bottle of tequila, he's through for the day. Any man that can sleep on a bed of rocks is a better drinker than I am. Well, he's one of the best. Petis. <laughs> Goodbye again, senor. Adios. Thanks again. Quick-witted, my friend. Suppose he'd lifted that hat and recognized you. Then I would have had to kill him. Senor, get down. Senor. I was waiting in San Diego, and then he came and said that you wanted to meet me back here. He was following my orders. But why? What's happening? The good doctor learned I was carrying gold bullion. Decided he wanted it. I don't understand. That's not too complicated. Your husband's a thief. You have entirely the wrong idea, senor. The Barclays are to consider this only a loan. Oh, you can't do this. But the money will be repaid. As soon as we have our victory, when the fighting is finished... The fighting is finished. There's not going to be a victory. You don't understand. With this gold, we can begin again, stronger than before. An army of thieves. Huh? I'm not going to waste words explaining this to you, senor. Explaining what I am. You don't have to. What you're doing explains it well enough. Heath, the rest of the Barclays, they took a great risk for you. The risk is appreciated and in time will be rewarded. Garcia, get the gold from the wagon. No. This is wrong. He won't be a part of it. You are a part of it. I am not a thief. I didn't go to him to beg for his help so he could be made a fool of. Sarah, you have no choice. You are my wife. And I am not proud of it, Raoul. I'm not proud. I said get the gold. Muchachos. Doctor, you are surrounded. Chavez. He's so 
saw you when Garcia brought you here? We tried to avoid it. It seems we failed. Senor Mendez, do you hear me? I hear you. If you make a fight of it, your wife could be hurt. Senor, walk ahead of me to the buggy. Or do you prefer to die here? Sarah. Wait! Hold your fire! Sarah, get in the buggy. Raul, it's hopeless. I said get in the boat. <laughs> Senor, it was to be a beginning, a great new. Remember the beginning. Huh? Your name, Senor. I did not get your name. It's Barkley. The Barkley Mines. Huh? You are you are carrying gold, huh? That's right. You had a rifle in your back when you arrived here. You were then um, accosted on the road. You were not acquainted. You and the doctor. But of course, uh, since he attempted to rob you, that that is unlikely, isn't it? I suppose it is. thing that matters is that it is finished. The dreamer is dead. And those who followed the dream can now learn to live with reality again. So, you can go, senor. And two of my men will give you safe escort to the border. Gracias. Goodbye, Mrs. Mendez. Goodbye, Mr. Barkley. I'm sorry for the inconvenience. You said you wished to give your husband a decent burial. 
again if I can be of any help. You're very kind. 